What up, man? It's your big brother, K. Reno. K. Reno. Look, I saw a um, video that inspired me to to do this subject, to ask y'all what y'all think. And I really want y'all to listen and then and give me an honest opinion. Um, I have my view on it. I'll go into it. But I, want, I really want to know what y'all think about this. Um, I don't know if this brother was a minister, preacher, whatever. I didn't know. I, I just felt like he was a, um, a church guy. And... Um, he was expressing his uh, disappointment in some lyrics that the gospel artist Kirk Franklin had laid down in the song, and he he didn't like the lyrics. I don't know whether he felt like the lyrics were. Um, I don't. I can't say if he felt like they were blasphemous or whatever. But I just think, in my interpretation, he took it as those lyrics being lacking um, humility that should be representative of. Um, a man of God and, and a gospel artist, you know, they like it came off arrogant and he, he felt like it wasn't becoming or in line with how a gospel artist should be saying. So he further went on to express his dissatisfaction with the fact that Kirk Franklin um, had either done a song or performed, he definitely performed, I don't know if they did a song together, but he performed with the rapper, the baby, and his thing was, man, this dude is a gangster rapper. This dude is a he degrades women in his songs and this and that. And the question is, is it wrong for a conscious artist to work with a non-conscious artist to work with a trap rapper, drill rapper, stripper rapper, pimp rapper, whatever it is? Is it wrong for a um, for an activist? to um, associate with a street dude. Is it wrong? And I know it's more layered. I know it's deeper than just a cut and dry yes or no answer because it, it's, it's, it's context involved in, 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 in that just like it is in anything else. So I've always been taught that um, medicine is for the sick. So I never looked at it as, as a situation where um, a conscious artist should look down or put themselves above an artist who may not be on your level of consciousness and knowledge yet. But you could assist them by just being in their presence enough time to plant a few seeds in them. Now, if the the gospel artist, the gospel rapper, the conscious artist, the positive rapper, whatever you are, if you have established yourself as being that, then you go work with another artist who's a trap rapper, drill rapper, whatever, and you start rapping like they rap or singing like they sing, okay, now, okay, I understand. It's like, whoa, wait a minute, this dude just did a 180. But if you are on a song representing what you represent, giving out a good message, and doing you in that manner, I don't see anything wrong with it. The only thing that people may have, you know, a leg to stand on in, in terms of um, contradicting, I mean, in terms of disagreeing with that, they may feel it's a contradiction if you on there speaking positive and he's still on there going crazy, you know what I'm saying? So. There has to be time, because I know myself, you know, and I ain't acting like I'm no model citizen and perfect example, but there are certain songs that I'm just not going to do anymore. Certain things I'm not going to rap about. So you can't call me for a collab or a feature, and I say, okay, that's cool, let's get it on. What are we talking about? And, you know, man, we talking about how we be pimping these hoes out here. I'm not going to be on that song with you. I'm going to reject that one, you know. So, but But at the end of the day, I would try to bring the artists more into my world than me coming into their world. I, I, I already was in that world. I grew up kind of in that world. I transitioned out of that. I grew out of that, you know, thank God. But I don't think we should be condemning anybody on either side for working with the other. See, that's one of the biggest reasons to me that there's a disconnect between the church and the young people and the people in the hood, the people, you know, the, the churches ain't really 
bringing them in like they used to because the the people are not relating they're not relating to um, the those who are in charge of bringing in the shepherds are not they're not relating to the shepherds so I'm all in favor of us meshing together as a unit regardless of what walk of life we come from as a family unit as a community whether you do music whether you just a working man or woman however you go down activist whatever you are i'm all in favor of us coming together getting to know each other and educating each other because i don't care how um knowledgeable you are i don't care how many uh degrees you have i don't care how much um theological knowledge that you possess or whatever it is man there's something that you can learn even from the, those who you consider to be the lowest of the low and the, and the so called uh, ignorant street dudes making all this gangster music it's something you can learn from them because a lot of them brothers are very intelligent a lot of them are just making that music you know because it's popular and they're doing it to make a living and even the ones who may not understand it yet okay that's where you come in to try to teach but to separate and say man we should need why are you working with him you're supposed to be a man of god and you up there with the baby well who did who did jesus run with who did jesus jesus was chilling with with the sinners and and, and, and the publicans and the, and the people that just i didn't say republicans but jesus was in the cut trying to get down with those who needed the knowledge not exalting himself above them see so i think that the message is off when you try to condemn somebody now i again i use kirk franklin as an example because it just gave me that thought in mind because it, it's not just him it's a lot of people that people in general people would just say well if you're here you shouldn't deal with that but what is your purpose? If you're church folk or whatever, you, what's your purpose? Your purpose should be to try to go out and save people, to, to, to drop that message on them and save them. So it, it's kind of it's kind of backwards to me, you know, to have that to have that thought process, man. Y'all tell me what y'all think about it, you know. Y'all tell me how y'all feel because I know that a lot of our young people are perishing from a lack of knowledge and, and really everybody is perishing from a lack of knowledge because um, we don't want to deal with each other we feel like the other one is crazy man them young people crazy man them old people throw it off they, 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 they don't know what they're talking about when in reality we're not going to make it without each other because we both have elements of inside of us that will lead to our collective success if we implement principles of unity and not cast judgment on each other because we didn't all fell long <laughs> of the glory. All right, man, it's your big brother, K. Reno. You tell me what y'all think about this one, man, and leave your comments below. Interested to hear what y'all got to say. And um, I'll see y'all soon. Peace and blessings.